Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find the highest altitude. In this question, we're given a gain array which represents the net gain in altitude because there is a biker starts from a point zero with altitude equal to zero. So there are n plus one points and there are n elements inside the array because we start from altitude zero. So that is not part of the gain array. And our task is to return the highest altitude of a point. So let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. So I have taken the same example given to us and currently we are at altitude 0. So I declare a variable current and initialize it to 0. Simultaneously I also have to create another variable called max which will give us the maximum altitude we have reached. So since current altitude is 0, max is also 0. Now we iterate through the input array from left to right and we keep adding that element to the current value and compare the current value with the max value. So currently uh, 0 minus 5 is minus 5 and max of 5 and minus 5 is 0. So max of 0 comma minus 5 is 0. Now we go for the next element. Next element is 1. So add it into the current variable. We get minus 4. Check if 0 or minus 4 is max. 0 is still the max. Now go for the next element. Next element is 5. So add it to the current uh, value. We get 1. So check current max with current we update max with 1 go for the next element next element is 0 add 0 to the current value we get 1 and current max is 1 and current is also 1 so max will remain as 1 now in the next iteration you get minus 7 so add it current value you get minus 6 check it with the current max max will remain as 1 and finally we reach the end of the for loop and we return whatever is present inside the max variable in the end so max is equal to 1 so 1 is our output now let's implement these steps in a java program coming to the function this is the function name and this is the input gain array of length n n representing the number of elements inside the array but there are n plus 1 points because we are starting at our altitude 0 and the return type is an int because we have to return the maximum altitude throughout the entire road trip so we start with the max element which will be returned as the output which is initially 0 and now we start at a current altitude of 0 which is not part of the gains array now using a for loop let's iterate through the gains array so in each iteration we're going to calculate the next altitude the biker will go from that point so we add the current gain into the current altitude and now we get our altitude right so we are going to check it with the max altitude variable so until now if the current altitude is the maximum assign that back to maximum else if maximum is greater than current so maximum will remain the same so in each iteration, we are immediately checking if the current altitude is the maximum altitude you reached until now. So outside this for loop, we'll have our answer inside max and we'll return max as the output. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And the solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the gain array. And the space complexity is constant O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.